Hi, Taylor T. Carlson back with another vinyl haul for you. It's the month of July, it's hotter than hell outside, but my love of vinyl records has certainly not diminished. I'm going to take a look at a few used finds that I've made around town. Some of these are mine, some of these are my girlfriend's, but pretty nice assortment here. Let's get started and take a look at what there is. First of all, I got this from my buddy Joey over at Record City. This is Canterbury, which was the third album by a new wave of British heavy metal rockers, Diamond Head. It's simultaneously more progressive and commercial than their previous efforts. It was never as popular as any of those, but despite that, it's still got some good songs, and it's one that holds a special place in the hearts of many fans. Next up, and this is a thrift store find of all things, these next few records are, this is Robin Trower, Victims of the Fury. Robin Trower, one of the all-time great rock guitarists who came at us in the 1970s. The guy's in his 70s now, and he's still performing and going strong. I actually saw him live about 10 years ago, and still sounds very good despite his age. And this is like his you know, classic band lineup, doing what they do best on a studio album. These next two are ones my girlfriend found over at the thrift store. These are records by Jim Neighbors. Jim Neighbors, of course, is the actor who played Gomer Pyle on The Andy Griffith Show and its spin-off series, Gomer Pyle USMC. So, these are just you know, records of him performing some standards. This one has the song Strangers in the Night on it, probably best known for the uh, Frank Sinatra version. Then there's another Jim Neighbors one here as well that she found. And then you got all the songwriting credits and some pictures of additional albums there on the back. And the one other thrift store find that I found, this is one of my favorites in this video, Ronnie Montrose, Open Fire. Ronnie Montrose, of course, the guitarist from the band Montrose, and he'd previously been with the Edgar Winter group. Edgar Winter, in fact, produced this album. This is a far cry from the stuff released under the Montrose name because it's an instrumental album. Covers a lot of really diverse ground here. I mean, there's even a cover of the song Town Without Pity. Hearing that done in Ronnie Montrose's style is especially interesting and unexpected. Here's a look at the photo inside the sleeve and all your credits are on this set. And then the next thing, I found this used over at Zia for 50 cents, so I don't want to pass it. This is Rosemary Clooney on stage. This is a 10-inch record, something you don't see too terribly often. Again, this only cost me 50 cents. I've yet to throw it on the turntable, but Rosemary Clooney was a very famous singer back in the day. She's actually the aunt of actor George Clooney. And, you know, back in the day, she certainly made her mark on the world. I'm really looking forward to giving this one a listen. That cover looks like just has mainly listings of the record company's other releases. I got this one for my girlfriend at ZX. I thought she'd like this. This is a an album in the Chipmunks album called Urban Chipmunk. The artwork in the title spoofed the film Urban Cowboy starring John Travolta. There's a pretty diverse listing of tracks here, you know, mostly covers of you know, pop country songs of the day, like The Gambler, I Love a Rainy Night, Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys, On the Road Again, Thank God I'm a Country Boy, and got your credits on the back here. It says Ross Bagdasarian on here, but this is actually Ross Bagdasarian Jr. because Ross Bagdasarian Sr., who was the original voice of Dave Seville and the Chipmunks, passed away in 1972, and then his son took over, and his wife, uh, Janice Carmen, also voiced some of the Chipmunks and the Chipettes on the 1980s television series as well. So these are always you know, very fun novelty records. And I remember watching reruns of the... Uh, 80s animated series back in the mornings before I'd go to school when I was, you know, elementary age. And the last one I found, this is actually not used. This is a new reissue, and it's Queen, A Kind of Magic. This album mostly consists of songs they did for the movie Highlander. It also has the song One Vision, which was done for the film Iron Eagle. The track list is on the back here. And then you got this uh, really crazy artwork on the inner gatefold. Certainly speaks for just how loud and bombastic a band these guys really were. Here's the sleeve with the record in it. And 
And there you have it. Have you picked up any great vinyl finds lately in any of your hometown stores or ordered anything online? Comment down below and let me know. Also remember to subscribe to my channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And be sure to give this one a like if you found it helpful or interesting. I'm Taylor T. Carlson and I will see you next time.